First week of every new year marks World Hypnosis Day, but far from just a sideshow stunt, hypnotherapy is moving into mainstream medicine. ABC 15 Mornings anchor Dan Spindle has the story. Almost everyone likes to set personal goals for the new year. Weight loss, stress, uh, sports enhancement, of course. Uh, ringing in the ears, you know, people that can't swallow pills. Name an ailment, Patty Freeman says she can help with that. As a certified hypnotherapist, she welcomes all kinds of people, like Sabrina. Um, Any reservations to that? Um, basically, just having another person in control of you and your conscious mind, basically, taking control over it. But Patty told me hypnosis isn't about mind control. Sleep five, four, three, just totally relax, totally relax. So Even if this session here is called a speed totally trance. So what hypnosis does, it changes our viewpoint of looking at things. So it's a little bit more positive viewpoint than anything else. She told me suggestions to the subconscious mind give the person the ability to change for themselves, not be some kind of a marionette for mental manipulation. So what about scenes like this with everything from group hula dancing to phantom wedgies? Isn't this just a gimmick for a laugh? It gives you the knowledge for the people watching like, wow, if that person could do that, maybe I could do it. The National Institutes of Health define, study, and even promote hypnotic methods of treatment for a number of conditions. I, I've never done it before, so <laughs> it's, I, think it's a, I think it's a good idea. Dan Spindle, ABC 15 News.